And conditions on the big lake today are prime for rip currents. They develop quickly and can overwhelm even the strongest swimmers. Meteorologist Samantha Jacks shows us how they form and what to do to escape. You may be surprised to find out that most related incidents in Lake Michigan occur when waves are only three to five feet tall, but it's often not the wave size themselves that cause the problem. It can be the invisible currents that are embedded in these waves. Now there are all different types of currents from outlet currents, longshore currents, structural currents, or of course, rip currents. And what happens during these rip currents, and no matter which one you look at, you rapidly get drug away from where you started at, so whether that be by the beach or by the edge of a pier, into the open water. This happens very quickly and can happen to even the strongest of swimmers. When this occurs, people often start to panic and try to swim against the current, and that causes them to become fatigued. So we want to talk a little bit today about how you can best practice to stay safe if you were ever caught in a rip current, especially as we head into the holiday weekend. You never want to fight a current. Even the strongest swimmers, you Michael Phelps out there, cannot escape these currents. They are just too potent. So what you need to do is flip onto your back, float and follow. The triple F's is how we suggest following this because what will happen is the current itself will actually eventually bring you in a full circle back to the shoreline as long as you're able to stay relaxed. Those waves though are going to crash into you, which is why you don't want to panic and fatigue yourself by trying to swim against the current itself. You can also swim parallel to the shoreline, but this too can be exhausting. If at any point in time you feel as though you can no longer swim, that's when it's it's time to try to just float, wave, and call for assistance. The biggest thing this weekend is that we keep a close eye on our family, friends, and visitors who aren't used to the conditions here in Lake Michigan. We all know it's more like a mini ocean than it is a lake, and so make sure if the red flags are flying, you stay dry when those waves are high.